Hello guys, Total Clips here and welcome back to another satisfactory Myths Buster guide. Now as always, if you do find this video helpful, do drop a thumbs up and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and consider joining our awesome Discord channel. Uh, the link will be placed below. Now today I am really excited to take the conveyors and finally put them up against the trains. Now to see which one is going to transport the needed items quicker. Now again, to make this as fair a test as possible, we will test the Mark IV conveyor versus the train. And the reason for this is they are both unlocked at the same technology level. Now, we'll also be using a single carriage to transport items over a medium distance. As you can see here, it's about half the distance of the map across. And the reason I've chosen a longer distance is due to the load and unload times of the train. I believe it will be very easy for the conveyors to outrun the train system. And over longer distances, I believe the train will most definitely win. So that is why we've gone with the medium distance, as I believe it's going to give us the fairest test. Now for this test, the train and conveyor will be transporting three full industrial containers to the other station, and the first one to deposit all the items will win. Now after this test, we will then trial the tier five conveyor versus the train to see if there are any change in the results. Now I will mention that I shall use both inputs and outputs on the train station, which I feel is fair as they're still being transported through a single train and station. Now I should also point out that this test is solely for the speed of transportation. We aren't going to be looking at the effect on the gameplay uh, for using conveyors over a longer distance or for that matter the material or energy costs, although that might be something to think about if you're actually doing these. So with all that stated, let's begin the test. Now we shall start the race with the train at the opposite station. So now that it's there, let us connect the conveyors up. Now as you can see, despite the conveyors items arriving at the end point first, the train can carry a lot more in one go and also travels a lot quicker. Although I am surprised to see that even after the first arrival of the train's items, that this is a relatively close uh, test. However, as the test continues, you can see that the train does gain a rather substantial advantage. Now leading to our clear winner at the end, which is the train in this situation. So if you've only just unlocked the tier for trains and the mark for logistics, it makes sense when transporting items over a longer distance to use trains. However, with that said and done, what will happen when we use the Mark V, which actually transports an extra 300 items per minute. So this could be a very close one, even at this kind of distance. So now that everything's been reset, let the race commence. Now surprisingly, once again, this seems exceedingly close, although you can see that over a longer distance, the train is fairly faster than the Mark V, which surprised me, although it is much closer than in the previous test. That being said, the train is still a relatively clear winner when all is said and done, with a clear lead of about 800 items overall. So with that test out of the way, it is clear when transporting items over a longer distance that the train is the clear winner. Now, if you wish, you could argue that you could double up the conveyor belts and the conveyors would be the clear winner. However, in that case, we could also double up the station and carriage size. So to make it as fair as possible, like we mentioned before, we are only using a single conveyor against a single station and carriage. So there you are guys, if you did find this video interesting, be sure to hit the thumbs up icon, it really does help me out and help it get out to other people who, who want this information. And also, uh, let me know in the comment section below if you think Coffee Stain should actually release a faster vehicle or train for the later tiers if we're going to potentially be having faster conveyors or teleportation. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to join our awesome Discord channel. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, ciao for now.